Hey, Scott from Aristocob.com here. And Seth from SethMarkwood.com. Together, the three of us, we are Markwood Men's Breakfast Club. Welcome back once again to Tobacco Advent 2018, day 22. 22. <laughs> uh, good morning, boy. And good morning. If this is your first time watching, this is our annual count up or down, uh, depending on how you look at it, to Christmas. And today's tobacco has been sent to us by Bill. He says, Scott and Seth, this is a sample of Green Dragon. It is one of the many house blends from the Country Squire. Okay. All right. Hang on. Let me finish this. We'll talk about this for a second. <laughs> it is one of my favorites, and I hope you enjoy it. Thanks for all you do for the YouTube pipe world. Merry Christmas, Bill. This is now the third Country Squire tobacco we have smoked in Tobacco Advent. And we're starting to think there might be something fishy. I'm thinking it's brilliant if either they've got some great blends that a lot of folks like, or a really great pipe community and people talk yep. and, and are fans of the show. Or if they're Thank smart, you. somebody at Country Squire has uh, got some of their folks to participate in Tobacco Advent, which would be a brilliant thing to do. Why wouldn't they? Mm -hmm. Do a takeover <laughs> yeah, of so, our channel. So listen up, Country Squire. Next year, we're expecting a whole 25. <laughs> <laughs> Uh, this right. is great. Bill, thank you for, for the tobacco. All right, to the question. Question of the day is... Seriously? I, I did a horrible job printing these. I, I'm sorry. I don't know what happened. This one's not very good, but... All right, I'll read it. If you could have one wish granted at Christmas, what would it be? Veto? Yeah. Yeah, that's, that's a real that's a real veto this time. I wish for an additional veto. <laughs> <laughs> you will not believe this. Read this question. <laughs> if you could have one wish granted at Christmas, what would it be? Oh, oh man. Come on. So this is that count as two vetoes or <laughs> Oh, okay. It tells you I, ha I have half as many questions uh, yeah, as I... Is, this, we've as already I, done this one, too. What? If you could have one superpower, what would it be, and how would you use it for good? We've done that one. Uh, we've done this one. No. Yeah. No. That was favorite bumper sticker. Yeah. Uh, what outdoor winter activity do you love? We can answer that one. It's not a great question, but... What outdoor winter activities are there other than playing in the snow? Mm. Okay. I mean, they're skiing. For me, uh, favorite outdoor winter. Winter's kind of loose, but depending on the weather, you know, in North Carolina, uh, during the winter, we can have extreme colds and also some fairly temperate, um, lukewarm days. For me, on those lukewarm days, um, hanging out with friends at a fire uh, is a top, top for me. I mean, I, I love getting to do that. Um, any time of year, usually that falls more into a fall type of weather, but there are days in the winter here, I mean, today it was in the mid-50s, um, would have been, and, and it's warmer now in the evening, yes, that's the evening time, warmer in the evening than it was during the day, even so, and so, um, I love getting to do that as an outdoor activity. I mean, you kind of, kind of take mine too, um, but I'll, I'll tie that into something else. I enjoy when we've done uh, some of these outings to places that have lots of Christmas trees and have activities for the grandkids. Mm -hmm. The train that we rode with the kids in, uh, in, in at the Denton Farm. I combine that with with smoking my pipe, right? And I really love it when there's a fire, and, and yeah. it's that it's usually that moment where we're kind of standing around the fire, kids are enjoying it, maybe drinking some hot chocolate. Yeah, I'm smoking my pipe. That's where it's at. Now, I also enjoy or have enjoyed in the past cross-country skiing. I really? don't get a chance to do it with my knees now, but going back in the past, cross-country skiing was always a favorite. And by the way, do you know what I did when I was cross-country skiing? Smoked your pipe. Smoked my pipe. Mm. Yeah. I did cross-country <laughs> skiing once and hated it with a burning passion of a million suns. Really? It's like, it's like the worst 
of of climbing up a hill in the snow and trying to run. Uh, and and also, I am not a coordinated human being okay. when it comes to to stuff like that. And so, for me, it was just not making with skis. Okay. Yeah. Didn't care. But for it. my my parents have a timeshare condo out near Steamboat Springs area in Colorado, and just off of their place, they've got a great cross country skiing area, mm -hmm. which. Uh, it's not crazy long. It's not crazy steep. You, it's it's steep enough that uh, you get some nice runs. You know where you're really actually skiing and sliding. Other places where it's not too high to go up. That has been my favorite cross country skiing mm. experience. If you're talking about just skiing on on the flat land where mm -hmm. you're just constantly working, that's not fun. But isn't that I like skiing. mostly cross country skiing though? I like skiing. Well, cross country skiing in Ohio is nothing but flat. I've never hard gone work. cross. Is there oh, cross yeah. country skiing in Ohio? Yeah, yeah. I yeah. went cross country skiing. Cross country skiing with Grandpa Markwood in Denver. In Denver, okay. When I was like ten. Yeah. Um, I was not more coordinated when I was ten. <laughs> I have cross now. country skied in Ohio. I was a part of a ski club in uh, in, in Ohio in junior high school. Yeah, really? In 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 in, uh, yeah, in Beaver Creek, Ohio. And there used to be a, a, a slope there called the Sugar Creek ski, ski Hills. And the Sugar Creek Ski Hills were at most a buddy slope. There was not much to it, but they did have a couple ski lifts, and uh, that's where I learned to ski. Huh. But in, in that same area, you could cross-country ski. And it just was, compared to skiing in the mountains, was just boring. Sure. Now, it is crazy for a guy from the lowlands to be over a mile up with a pipe hanging out of his mouth. But I did it anyway. Hmm. Yeah, it keeps your <laughs> your nose warm. That's right. Yeah. That's it. How about you? Yeah. What was it again? Christmas outdoor activity? Uh, outdoor? Winter. Winter. Out, activity. What's your favorite outdoor winter activity? Let us know in the comments down below or via a video response. What Which did you think you of the... you would also link down below. That's right. What did you think of the tobacco? Have you been checking the spam folder? Yes. Just to make sure that there's no yeah, links there. Because uh, YouTube loves to stick links yeah. in the spam folder. I don't think it's clear. I'll check again. Okay. I'll check again. Uh, the tobacco for me is okay. Um, it's not a standout, but I'm not upset about it. You? I'm, I'm okay with it too. Yeah. Huh? It's good, good for me. Good. Green Dragon from Country, Country Squire. Country Squire. Let's see what you we're did on, there. We're on to you. <laughs> All right, thank you guys for watching. We will see you tomorrow on Tobacco Advent Day 23. Yep, make it a great day. See ya.